Hello, welcome to watch the creative proteomics videos for protein identification. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about peptide mass fingerprinting, it is a technology to identify proteins. In this phrase, peptide mass fingerprinting. Peptide means protein fragment, which is often generated by trypsin. Mass means the molecular size of peptides. And the fingerprinting presents the uniqueness of the masses of peptides. It means that the digestion of a protein by an enzyme can provide a specific fingerprint of great specificity, that it is often possible to identify the protein from this information alone. Peptide mass fingerprinting, also known as mass fingerprinting, was developed in 1993. It is a high-throughput protein identification technique, in which the mass of an unknown protein can be determined. Peptide mass fingerprinting is always performed with MALDI-TOF or electrospray ionization TOF. In this technique, after separation of proteins by gel electrophoresis or liquid chromatography, and being cleaved with proteolytic enzyme, we can get experimental peptide mass through mass spectrometry. And the theoretical masses are achieved by using computer programs that translate the known genome of the organism into proteins, or the proteins in the database, then theoretically cut proteins into peptides, and calculate the absolute masses of the peptides. The experimentally obtained peptide masses are compared with theoretical peptides masses. The results are statistically analyzed to find the best match. There are several steps for peptide mass fingerprinting. The first step is protein separation. The protein of interest from a sample are separated by gel electrophoresis, usually with two-dimension page. The second step is digestion. The protein of interest is digested by proteolytic enzyme. Trypsin is the favored enzyme for peptide mass fingerprinting. Trypsin is relatively cheap, high effective, and generates peptides with an average size of about 8 to 10 amino acids, which is suitable for mass spectrometry analysis. There are other endoproteases available for specific needs. The next step is mass spectrometric analysis. The peptides can be analyzed with different types of mass spectrometers. MALDI-TOF is the most commonly used technique to perform peptide mass fingerprinting, for the reason that it allows higher sample throughput and several proteins can be analyzed in a single experiment. The mass spectrometric analysis produces a list of molecular weights of the fragments, which is called a peak list. The fourth step is in silico digestion. Software performs on database proteins with the same enzyme used in the experimental digestion and generates a theoretical peak list. At last, Compare the peak lists and theoretical peak lists to get the best match. Peptide mass fingerprinting is easy to perform and no need for too much optimization. It is significantly faster to carry out than peptide sequencing, and in this method, only the masses of the peptides are needed to be known. Although peptide mass fingerprinting does have some advantages, it has some disadvantages. The protein sequences of interest are needed to be present in the database. Peptide mass fingerprinting fails to identify the mixture protein, which can complicate the analysis and compromise the results. In addition, peptides containing post-translational modifications may not be correctly identified. At Creative Proteomics, our service throughout the peptides mass fingerprinting process, including proteolytic digestion and peptide extraction, mass spectrometry analysis, database search, and data report. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable services for protein identification, using peptide mass fingerprinting and other technologies. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.